This video is to help you with the compass star. So you have four pages of instructions. You've got the written instructions, and then you have this page, which is to make the outside background around your block. So this is the block, and this is the four quarter turns that you're gonna do for the outside. The easiest way to do this is to pin it or onto your fabric and then cut it or you can trace this onto freezer paper and then iron the freezer paper right onto the fabric. This is the four foundation pieces for this section right here. And you'll make all of those the same, red in the middle and blue print on the four sides. After you've pieced these, then you can trim this, these two sides with a ruler and a rotary cutter and then cut this curved line with scissors. This is the four wedges that are the dark blue and the circle template for the center. And these I would suggest um, cutting out of, or excuse me, copy them onto freezer paper and then iron that freezer paper onto the blue fabric and then cut them. And you can rotary cut this, the long sides and then scissor cut those. Also, I could not find a circle template that was this size in perfect circles. And so this is a one and five eighths inch square or a circle. And I just made my own template out of cereal box cardboard. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to foundation piece these four sections. They're very simple. Do that, trim them up, trim the curved side also, and then peel off the freezer paper. And then you're going to cut out the, um, using the templates, cut out these four blue wedges. And then you're going to sew a blue wedge between each one of these pieced parts. And you will end up with a circle. This one is a little bit squared off because I didn't have the correct pattern when I made this. All right, let's go back to the outside. This is what your piece is going, how it's going to be sewn together. I want you to take a true quarter inch seam right here. Don't use your quilter's quarter. The reason why is because when you sew the circle in, you don't want to have any little tucks and my outside edge when I sewed this on was a little bit full compared to in here. You can eliminate that two ways. You can take a larger seam here and then it will ease in a little bit better or you take a little bit smaller than a quarter inch seam and I had a tendency as I did this to take my seam was just a little bit larger than a quarter and so a little bit smaller seam would have eased it in better and fit. A little bit better. So after you get this done, you can sew the middle circle in. This circle is should end up super good. Your goal is to have your points end one fourth of an inch away from this outside, this raw edge around the outside. And um, the red ones, it seems maybe sometimes will be a little bit more than a quarter inch, but that's okay. They'll just be inside a little bit. Um, it's the pressing is the problem usually when you do foundation paper piecing and be sure and sew directly on the lines. Don't sew, you know, I just sew right exactly on those lines and make sure you press over well. Okay. Let's talk about how to pin this onto here. We're gonna do the circle last. So I'll show you the center circle. So this is going to be placed right here when we're all done. You wanna line up a seam with the four points on those, um, the blue points. So the easiest way to do that is to place this right here and just turn it over so it's right sides together and then pin this at the four points. So you're gonna pin all four of those points. The easiest way to get them in the right spot is to just pinch and go back, look and see 
if it's in the right spot. All right, so you would pin all four of those. Might be a good idea to backstitch a little bit right there or leave a chain on those so that they don't split apart. Okay, so our four corners are pinned. And then you're going to take this center point and you're just gonna pull from the center out and put that above the red point on that red wedge. And it looks like they're never gonna fit, but they will. Okay, now this part can really ease in that inside curve. So take and just start pinning. And you're gonna to wanna to put quite a few pins along that edge. And see how it'll just fit in as you pin around. You're gonna to wanna to use lots of pins and you just make those raw edges even. And then when you go to sew it, this is fitting in perfect. Do you see how the more pins that you can put in, the better your, your seam will ease in? Okay, so then, I'm not gonna pin the whole thing, but when you go to sew it, you're gonna sew it this direction with the circle on the bottom the background on the top and you're going to start and you're just gonna do your quilter's quarter inch seam, which is one thread less than a true quarter. And you're going to stitch around here, go slowly and it'll just ease all in. And then after it's done, this will automatically flip over and your seam will go out towards the corners. Here's one right here, showing you which way the seam is gonna go. So I tell you which way to press. I think that this block looks hard and curved piecing seems intimidating, but I know you can do it. If you pin, you will. it'll be great. You'll be able to do it and it'll turn out just fine. And this is the compass star block. And I think that's it. Have fun.